Hey everyone and welcome to the Daily Dose. This week we're talking all about freedom and today we're going to talk about trust and freedom, two things that go hand in hand together. Well, if you're joining us on Facebook, why don't you like and share this video on YouTube, hit the subscribe bell so you can stay in touch with what we're doing. If you're watching on cable access, hello and welcome. My son Soren um, is two and a half years old and he has just started getting in the summer spirit and ready to swim in the lakes, in the pools, you name it. The kid is a fish. He loves, loves, loves to swim. Well, we taught him a new trick the other day at the side of the pool. We had him stand on the side of the pool and we got him ready to jump and we said, all right, Soren, when we count to three, you jump in the water and we'll catch it. It'll be really fun. Well, Soren is a really calculating kid. He didn't know about this. It made him nervous. So he got out of the pool and he stood there for a little bit and then he sort of got ready to jump and then he walked away and then he came back to the edge of the pool and he got ready to jump and then he walked away. And I said, Soren, I promise I'll catch you when you jump in. We'll say one, two, three, and then you jump and I'll catch you. Well, something must have clicked and he decided to trust me. He decided to trust that I would catch him when he jumped into the water and that he would be just fine. So he got to the edge of the pool and we said, one, two, three. He jumped a big jump and I caught him as he splashed into the water and we giggled and giggled and laughed at the new game. We did that over and over and over again for the rest of the afternoon. And with each jump, Soren jumped a little bit higher and a little bit further because he was free from the fear that I wouldn't catch him. He trusted me, so he was free of fear. Kind of like when you're growing up and you're in your bedroom and most of us struggle with like fear of fear of the dark or fear of the monster under the bed. And it's once we trust that there is nothing to fear in the dark, there isn't any monster under our bed. It's once we trust that truth, once we trust that truth, that there is no fear, that we can be free from the fear. It's kind of like our faith in Jesus Christ. When, when we trust in the truth that Christ has come to set us free, then we are free indeed. When we can trust that truth fully, then we are free indeed. Kind of like that John 8 verse. If the Son has set you free, then you are free indeed. We're free to live fully into the life that Christ has set forth for us, to serve our neighbors, to love God fully, to live in community with one another. If the Son has set you free, you are free indeed. And trusting in that truth allows you to live into that freedom like nothing else can. Folks, I pray that you find that trust in the truth that we have, that Christ has set us free. Have a good night.